So now we got to the stage where we have to set our normal map that we just bake it and use it to create the rest of the textures for the body. So the normal map will be much more useful than having to bake Cambridge occlusion because from it we're gonna create a lot of textures for this piece, for this robot. So what I have in Photoshop here is the robot normal texture that we just baked. So if I go in my layers and I go to channels, I can see that instead of target that we have, I have an alpha. I just want to delete this alpha because it will cause problems for us. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna save this and we're gonna create a folder textures. And in there, I'm gonna put this air for robots and normal as a naming convention for the normal map. And I'm just gonna save it. And I'm gonna save it as 24 bits pixels. I don't need 32 or 16, so 24 just enough. Since later on, those need to be compressed and so on. So the next step I'm gonna do is inside of X normal, I'm gonna go to tools and I'm gonna create a normal map cavity map from the normal map. So I'm gonna click browse and I'm gonna select the textures we just created and I'm gonna click open and very quickly I'm just right click here and click generate. So it's gonna create this very dirty texture, it's not something that's looks quite okay i'm just gonna try to increase the radius to 16 and generate more time it will take a second to calculate i'm gonna decrease the radius to four and try again all right so we're gonna leave it at eight and we're gonna take this result and we're gonna copy it. And instead of Photoshop, I'm gonna go to layers and click Control and V on the keyboard. So it's gonna paste it as a new layer. It doesn't look that kind of detailed, but I'm gonna go in image, adjust brightness and contrast, and I'm just gonna increase the, the reduce the brightness a lot and decrease the contrast as well and the brightness as well we're gonna get this kind of a dirt old texture it's not okay but i'm gonna have it like this and i'm just gonna name it x normal so i'm just gonna hide this and the next thing i want to do is close this and hide this I'm gonna turn off X normal. Actually, I'm gonna hide it. And I will use Crazy Bump. This is a very cool program. My advice is take it, it's worth it. And I'm gonna open a normal map file. So I'm gonna open the textures I have that I just created. And what you're gonna see here is it will take some time to load. And it's going to create this sphere which is really awesome because this way I can see in 3D quite quickly the preview of the textures that it's creating. So I have, I can turn on and off all those things that I need. So I'm gonna turn off specularity and turn off diffuse at the moment. I'm just gonna focus on aberrant occlusion. So I can go here in occlusion and check how my occlusion map looks. It's generating from the normal map, it's creating occlusion. So I'll just play a little bit with the values of this. I need different types of textures, so I can experiment a little bit more. I'll increase the power and enhance detail. I'll take it like probably 94 and we're just going to reduce the power of it. I think this is okay and we can take a look at the preview and this is how it looks. 
probably I can increase the enhanced detail slightly up in order to be more efficient or just okay let's try to reduce it to 90 and increase the power to 1000 or to 99 and then move the lighten up just a little bit and now I'm gonna right click and copy occlusion to clipboard and go again in Photoshop and I'm just gonna paste it again with Ctrl and V I'm just gonna name this OC01 for, for occlusion and put down score to see it and now I'm just gonna go to diffuse and play a little bit with the diffuse I'm gonna turn on diffuse now and turn off occlusion so we can see how the diffuse looks it's also another type of a texture that's created so this is not the real diffuse but this will be multiplied or overlaid or something on top of the texture we already have so I want to capture a little bit of shading on it just gonna play with the curves color correction you have to play with those values it so it's different, you may not know what will work or not, what not. It's good to experiment, so. Okay, more highlights. So I'm going to copy this result to the clipboard again and go in here and paste it one more time. It looks kind of okay for the moment. So I'm going to hide this again and go to my specularity and here actually I'm going to take this specular, I'm going to toggle off the diffuse and I'm going to toggle on the occlusion. Okay, let's put in the diffuse as well. And now we're just gonna activate the specularity as well. So I want to see how the specular works. Probably I don't need the diffuse, just the occlusion. So at the moment this is too shiny. And I'm just gonna try to play a little bit with the values of it. Won't have texture influence on this, so I'm gonna copy this one because I like the result that's affecting on the whole thing. The whole thing. I'm just gonna paste it. All those textures may not make sense at the moment, but later on they will. So I'm gonna name this one just diff zero one, and this one spec zero one for specular. And I'm gonna toggle those off. Again, I'm gonna hide this. And this is my normal map. I can enhance it, but can increase the intensity of the normal map. It will slightly try to increase the depth and all those features of the normal map. It's original 50, and I'm just gonna make one that's 80 or 84. And I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it inside of Photoshop as well. I'm just gonna this is the old normal map versus the new one. It's just a little bit enhanced, it's not something that's kind of a big deal, but we're gonna test both of them. So I'm just gonna save this as robot textures as a PSD and save all layers. And in our next chapter, we're gonna move on and we're gonna start to apply those textures on the robots inside of Restore Max, and also we're gonna apply them, some of them inside of Marmoset 2 back. So, one of them, we're gonna watch how it's going, the texturing itself inside of a game engine, and in the other program, we're just gonna focus on working and placing pieces and so on.